Today on The Blind Pig, I'm gonna show you how to make The White Lady with a Lavender Kiss. Hey everyone, welcome back once again to The Blind Pig. As always, I'm your host, Jason. The White Lady cocktail was invented in 1919 by Harry McElhone at Sierra's Club in London. The original recipe featured a weird combination of creme de menthe, triple sec, and lemon, and really wasn't that popular. By 1929, Harry had opened his own bar, Harry's New York bar in Paris, where he would change the drink to today's recipe. It's unknown why exactly he changed the recipe, but from those that have tasted both versions, it's clear the one we're making today is the superior cocktail. With apologies to Harry and his recipes, we're gonna add a bit of our own twist to the drink. We recently were sent some samples from All the Bitter, which included their lavender bitters. I haven't used lavender in a drink before, but when I thought about what to make today that might complement the flavor, I thought this one sounded perfect. For this drink, we are gonna start by dry shaking, which means we have no ice in our shaker. We start by pouring in a half ounce of lemon juice, already squeezed that off camera. A half ounce of orange liqueur. We're gonna use Grand Marinier for this one because why not? And two ounces of gin. We're using our botanist gin, one of our favorites here on the channel. Exactly, how about that? And then we're gonna use a egg white, which is why we are dry shaking this to start. And we only want the white out of here, so we're gonna hope this works out. Kind of go back and forth to keep our yolk in the shell. Not my best, but it'll work. Still trying, there we go, it'll work. Toss that in there. Go ahead and give this a nice, vigorous, dry shake. All right, we're gonna go ahead, that's already full of pressure. We go ahead and add a few cubes of ice. We're also going to add our lavender bitters at this point. There is no reason I could not have added them at the beginning. I kind of forgot, but won't change the drink at all. Gonna go ahead, just lose a little bit, should go a long way in this drink. We're gonna use one, two, three, four drops of our bitters. And then give this a vigorous, it's called a wet shake when you add ice. Strain that into our coupe glass. You can see probably why it's called a white lady. Beautiful white color. The egg white puts a nice little foam on top. To make this a little more special, first we're gonna dry our hands off. We're gonna go ahead and put a couple drops of our lavender bitters on top. Shook the table there a little too much, that's okay. I'm gonna put okay, about two or three drops on there. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a quick little spin there. Makes for a very pretty little top. Go ahead and try this one out. Cheers. Oh, a delicious drink. Just a hint of the lavender flavor there. Doesn't overpower it at all. You know, I was thinking about this as I was making it. The drink's very similar to a sidecar or even a daiquiri. Sidecar uses cognac, uh, daiquiri uses rum. Very similar though with the lemon juice and the egg white. Uh, delicious drink. Seriously guys, try this out with or without the bitters. If you're gonna use bitters, try the all the bitters. Love this stuff, gonna use it again for sure. Love this drink guys, hope you do too. Please uh, subscribe, like the video, leave a comment below. We'll see you soon, cheers. Hey everyone, welcome back once again to The Blind Pig. As always, I'm your host, Jason. The White Lady Cocktail was invented in 1919 by Hel 